Hello, my name is Christian, and welcome to Super Mario Land 2, Sis Golden Coins, released in 1992 for the Nintendo Game Boy. Let's get started. So here we are. Uh, this is the file select menu. And I, I really like how this menu is designed. All you have to do is press down on the D-pad and you can just go down. And you can jump to hit that clear box and you'll turn into a bomb. You'll go inside a pipe and boom. I mean, it's just designed so well. Once again, I'm playing this game. Just like the first game, I'm playing this game on my Nintendo GameCube using the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy Player, an adapter invented exclusively for the Nintendo GameCube. So, this is the sequel to Super Mario Land 2. And believe it or not, the first game actually sold very well. One of the best-selling handheld Mario games of all time, believe it or not. And this game actually did pretty well itself. If you want my opinion, I think it's a really fun game. So we just got a 1-up, and Star Man, and if you ask me, the Star music, the invincibility music just sounds so catchy. I mean, it, it just sounds so catchy. So here we have our original classic Fire Flower. Instead of Mario turning red, uh, we get a, some kind of leaf on our head, and we can shoot fireballs. Yes, that's right, fireballs, and not those bouncing balls on, like in the first game, because that was weird. So we just beat the stage. I hit the bell at the top of the at the top at the end of the stage. If you hit the bells, you can enter bonus games at the end. If you don't, you just leave. So now that we've been in that, we are now in the world map. I mean, we have we can now explore the whole map. This is where you can, I guess, gamble. <laughs> it's a place where you can earn extra lives and such. And even more coins. And the coin system is actually very unique in this... It's actually very unique compared to how it usually is. So right now I'm showing you around the worlds and the places that we are going to explore. We're not going to go here yet. And finally, this is Wario Castle. The door says Mario Land 2. This is why it's called the Six Golden Coins. We had to find, we had to defeat six bosses, and obtain all six golden coins to fight this guy that's on top of the roof, which his name is Wario. which is Mario's newest rival. So, 
this is the first zone, well, chronologically, it is the first zone. They call it zones, they, they call the worlds zones in this game. Don't steal from Sega, Nintendo! Um, anyway, <laughs> um, we have some very strange enemies, just like we did in the first game. Like, look at that guy. Frogs. Some weird mole enemies. By looking at the status at the bottom of the screen, you can tell that I have over 100 coins. In this game, um, coins are so huge in this um, Coins are very huge. You will be collecting tons of them. You don't necessarily have to collect the coins, but... That's what this game is all about, collecting coins. That later on, that's will be that will be what New Super Mario Brothers 2 would be about. Did I say that right? <laughs> I don't know. So there are two types of bonus games, and this is the second one. This is probably my least favorite. That's for sure. Anyway, moving on to Dream Tree Zone 2. And this is underground. What a surprise, huh? No? I thought so. And here is the gimmick of this underground themed stage. These really juicy jello um, things. I don't know what they are. <laughs> but what you had to do is use the A button to. You had to use the jump button. Oh shoot, that was close. By the way, bells are checkpoints, so hit them. If we go down here... Um... This is a new power-up in this... That only appears in this game and I lost it. I actually needed that. Looks like I'll just have to... Um... Commit suicide. Let's try that again, huh? Okay, this power-up is called a carrot. This carrot transforms Mario into Bunny Mario, no pun intended. I don't need that fire flower right now. You'll see why I actually need the need Bunny Mario in a second. And Bunny Mario is actually pretty unique in its own way. Not to mention it's actually pretty broken. For one thing, you can hold down the jump button and if you land on if you land on a platform, you'll keep on jumping completely, like like a rabbit. No pun intended. These guys will explode if you jump on top of them. And this is why I needed Bunny Mario. 
even this game has secrets of its own. Yep, there are tons of stuff to learn about in this game. Mario's animation kind of reminds me of Super Mario World. I mean, it doesn't look completely like Super Mario World Mario, but you can tell somehow by looking at the face, if you look carefully. But mostly things aren't that different. I mean, mostly things are a lot different. Super Mario Land is a very unique game. Instead of 1-Up Mushrooms, we have 1-Up Hearts. I'm not even sure if that's what they're called. You can just call them hearts if you want to. Because that's what they are. And they are 1-Ups. So now, just like the, just like what I did in Super Mario World, I'm going to skip a portion of the stage to the point where we last left off. And we are going to venture in this area that I purposely fell fell on. Actually. Part of it was an accident, but most of it was just suicidal. Anyway, like I said, if you hop on, if you jump on top of these, they'll they'll blow up. So watch out! Oh, free one up! Awesome! <clears throat> and if you hold down the jump button while you're inside the this the, these jello things you can constantly just keep going up since I've shown you both mini games I mean bonus games I'm just going to s either skip it or just speed it up There's no point in me showing you the same things over and over again. Oh boy. So here we have the classic piranha plants. Followed by Venus Fire Trap. And he still looks <laughs> and he looks even devilish than he used to. Even more. Um, just ignore those things. They're sissies. Um, ant enemies. They come in different kinds, actually. You could easily make a pun out of this power up. You you could just make tons of Bugs Bunny um, puns out of this and still get away with it. And that is the end of that. I didn't mean to do that. This is pretty much a two-way pathway. Um, on the left side, um, it was just a tree area. On the right side, it's more like a bee. It's like you're inside of a beehive.
Okay, so there's a big gigantic bee right there. Watch out for that. Um, some kind of caterpillar enemy? These gigantic bees are like thwomps. And I don't even think thwomps are in this game. You know what? They're not. They are not. The controls in this game are actually pretty different. And that's the end of that. See you next time.